Hey, welcome back once again and thank you for joining me on another video. And of course, this is Cooking with Arlena. And of course, I'm your host, Arlena. And once again, thank you for joining me on another video. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, so that way it'll notify you every time I post a new video. So today we have another cooking video, another Caribbean cooking video. And I'm going to be making some pumpkin rice. Now this is the first time I've made pumpkin rice um, ever. So I've never really made pumpkin rice, but I can make pumpkin rice. So I'm doing my version of pumpkin rice. Um, if you can do peas and rice or spinach and rice or pilau or lokri, trust me, you could do pumpkin and rice. So this is what I will be using for my pumpkin rice. Well, of course, we're gonna need the star of the show, which is the pumpkin. And this is West Indian pumpkin, or like they would call calabasa. So yeah, I had to go all the way to New York just to get this pumpkin. Well, I didn't just fly to New York to get the pumpkin, but when I was in New York, I definitely um, went West Indian shopping, West Indian food shopping. So I got my pumpkin there, and that's probably like about two cups of pumpkin. If you want, you could put one more, whatever works for you. This is what I will be using. Today, I'm gonna be using also some coconut milk. You don't have to put coconut milk in your pumpkin rice, but if you want to, you can. You could use chicken broth or chicken stock. You don't have to use the pumpkin rice. I, don't, I mean, excuse me, you don't have to use coconut milk. So don't feel like, oh, I don't have any coconut milk or the one coconut that I have in the house. Oh my God, it's spoiled. So I can't cook this rice. No, you can cook it with water. You can cook it with chicken broth. You can do it with pump, um excuse me why I keep saying pumpkin you could tell I'm hungry right you could do it with coconut milk but today I'm gonna do it with coconut milk the same thing goes for rice and peas you could do water you can do um, chicken stock vegetable stock or coconut milk okay so this is optional here on my cutting board I have diced up a rough kind of rough chop some purple onion I have a couple sprigs of thyme, and yes, I got this from New York from the West Indian store. Um, it's, it's um, how you would say it, it's it's kind of organic, and you get a big old bushel of of thyme as opposed to when you just go in the supermarkets, they give you that little small little thing for ninety nine cents. I got like a big head; it was like about two bucks. Can't beat the price. Here I have spring onions, or like we would say here, green onions. Okay, so that also is going to go into the pot. And of course, I have here chopped up real finely two cloves of garlic. Also, I'm going to be using my favorite rice. This is the only rice that I buy and I cook in my home. And that's jasmine rice. I don't care what brand it is, as long as it's jasmine. But in most cases, this is the one that I do use. Um, but nonetheless, Goya has a great brand as well. I use that as well. Also very good as long as it's say Jasmine. That's exactly what I'm cooking because I love my Jasmine rice. I don't and no, I do not wash my Jasmine rice. If you want to go ahead and you feel free to wash your rice, go right ahead. Whatever works for you. Remember, this is my pot and this is how I'm doing it for me to eat. So I, you know, I just hope you enjoy or it gives you an idea more or less, you know, to, you know, maybe do the same or improvise I'm also going to be adding one of my favorite spices which is turmeric I'm going to add a pinch of turmeric because turmeric has that bold flavor um, the color as well and it goes great with the pumpkin but also to I cook with turmeric because it's great for inflammation it has a lot of health benefits and properties and Listen, in the morning, you could have this in a cup of warm water or even a cup of herbal tea um, with some lemon. It's great, 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 great benefits. Or at night, like I like to have it, or even in the morning, you could do some golden milk, which is whatever milk of your choice, whether it's cow milk, goat milk, oat milk, whatever milk. And you put your teaspoon of um, turmeric, a little black pepper, a little honey, and that's a good anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory 
drink and since I've been drinking it while I was on vacation in St. Martin for the month I had been drinking it and it it truly helped a whole lot my body feels better I was able to detox a lot of that water weight that I was carrying that was causing so many pains so that's another topic though let's get back to the pumpkin rice also I have a little bit of um black pepper you could use salt I'm gonna be using a uh, good old chicken bouillon cube if you want you could use um, beef you could use vegetable salt whatever works for you okay and then here of course I have some olive oil so let's get started okay we are going to heat our pot you could use whatever pot of your choice we like to cook in these pots in the Caribbean they do a great job so the first thing that I'm going to do because I want my pumpkin rice to be flavored and seasoned just like how I like to cook my peas and rice so I'm gonna start with warming my pot so in my pot I'm gonna put a little bit of oil I'm using olive oil like I said you can use whatever oil of your choice okay so I'm gonna use like maybe let's see I would say about two tablespoons okay so I'm just gonna swish that around my pot okay so also like if you want to make a combination of oil and butter you can do that as well you can use canola oil um, there's lots of choices so I'm just gonna let this heat up for a minute um, also with this dish today I'm going to be having oven fried chicken breast strips and I'm gonna have some steamed carrots uh, spinach and tomato salad as well to go with this some juicy ripe fried plantain and I'm gonna top off my chicken with some nice beautiful Creole sauce that I made you can check the video um, I did a video a little earlier on how I made the um, Creole chien sauce, which is, I mean, just so amazing. And it's great on meat, on fish, or chicken. I mean, it's just awesome. Okay, so. Okay, I think this is kind of hot enough for me right now. I'm really hungry. If you want to wait for it to get a little more um, heated, you're more than welcome to do so but I'm just gonna go in with it right now. So I'm going to add my chopped onion and my garlic. That's all I'm gonna add right now, okay? So I'm just gonna saute this until it's translucent or they have softened a bit where it you know releases that aroma from the garlic and the onion and then I will bring you back and show you what's next okay and I'm just softening those vegetables like I said before and the aroma is just so amazing truly truly amazing so what I'm gonna do also I'm gonna add my pumpkin because what I want I want my pumpkin to get like the flavor of the onions and the garlic so I'm just gonna you know soften well just let it soften a little bit with the onions and the garlic for about maybe about a minute or so just to get the infusion really it's not really to soften it but to get the infusion because I'm gonna later um, soften it up with the coconut or the liquid portion of my pumpkin rice so I'm just stirring okay just stirring I'm just gonna let this infuse for about a minute or two and then I'll bring you back for the next step a little over a minute okay 
okay so to me that's good enough for me I will be cooking two cups of rice jasmine rice is one of my weaknesses so here I have my coconut milk and actually I kind of diluted my coconut milk I always do so I'm gonna add my coconut milk solution okay I'm gonna add that to the pot okay so the next thing I'm going to add is my thyme I'm gonna add my green onions okay Okay. Next thing I'm also going to add here is my Maggie Cube. I'm going to start with half because I don't want it to be too salt. And to be honest, I'm going to do the whole Maggie cube because I'm a custom of you know my measurements so I know the one cube is good for the two cups for the two cups of rice because it's also the same type of measure measurements that I use for my seasoned rice and my peas and rice yeah I've been cooking it for years so yeah I do know at this point so I'm gonna let all of this marinate so while that is doing that I'm gonna let it um the pumpkin kind of soften up and while the pumpkin is softening up, cooking down, or, you know, kind of softening up, excuse my English, because my West Indian tongue is coming out. So, I'm also going to put a couple, you know, tablespoons of butter in the pot. And I'm going to put this on low heat. And I'm going to let all this infuse. And while it's infusing, the pumpkin at the same time is going to be cooking. And it's going to be softening up. Okay? So, what I'm going to add to that now is my, my turmeric. Okay, I'm going to put a pinch of turmeric. Don't want too much. Just a pinch because turmeric is strong and it can be very overpowering. You know? And then, of course, I'm going to put my black pepper. For me... You could never have enough black pepper. <laughs> so I'm going to stir all this up. Oh man, just look at this pot. This, oh my goodness. This smells so divine. So, so, so divine. So I'm just going to do a, a, a little taste test. And how we taste, we put our hand here. My hands are clean. And we just drop a little in here. Mmm. Oh yeah, ooh la, mm, mm, mm. man, this is gonna be off the chain. So yes, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cover this up, and I'm going to just let this simmer away slowly. I will probably check it in 10 minutes to see like what the consistency is of my pumpkin. And depending upon the consistency of my pumpkin, I will come back and then I will add the rice, the two cups of rice, okay? So I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And our coconut milk containing our seasonings and our pumpkin has been probably like cooking slowly, I would say for about at least 10 minutes. And I checked it before I turned on the camera and it's cooked pro properly okay now you can mash it so I'm just gonna mash it like smash it a little bit let me just get my pot holder my oven mitt so I'm just gonna I'm just like breaking up some of the pumpkin just mashing it I don't want it totally mashed up because I like a little rusticness 
a little um you know kind of the little roughage to me that's what makes it so unique so i'm just you know lightly just mashing my pumpkin and this is west indian pumpkin that we call calabasa and it is so rich i mean this is so good seriously speaking it's really good really 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 good and we use it back at home um, we eat it like with fish um, we put it in a lot of our stews and soups and oh man you eat a good meat soup or a good chicken soup made with some pumpkin oh man you you are in for like a one heck of a treat and I'm here making one heck of a mess okay so this is kind of mashed to my capacity that I like I like it like this this is fine so I'm just going through to make sure that I don't have any big clumps left in it just you know I just want it yeah like this I, this is exactly the way I want it and let me tell you I tasted this thing tastes so good this is my tasting spoon oh, you use your hand mm -mm -mm. man oh this is this is really really good you gotta give it a try okay so my next step now I'm going to add my rice which is my two cups of jasmine rice I do not wash my jasmine rice now if I was using other rice I would wash but I don't use other rice so this is the only rice that I I use and I do not wash it I love jasmine rice because it's one of the most healthiest rice apart from brown rice and basmati is pretty good too but I'm more of a jasmine girl because I just I just love the aroma of the jasmine oh my god just look at this thing oh my goodness man this is off the chain oh lord one more thing that I've kind of forgot to add that I forgot I had I'm gonna add like um, a bay leaf so while that's cooking down slowly I'm gonna add a bay leaf also I wanted to add like maybe one or two um, allspice berries I mean we really seasoning this thing up for real you know and all of these we gonna take out before we serve it normally because it's just me I leave them in I don't care but if I'm serving it to others I take out all that stuff but for me I leave it in because I don't eat everything at once so I always have like leftovers so basically I just leave them in there and, and they continue to infuse in the the rice whether it's my peas and rice or my seasoned rice and let me tell you you eat this another two three days from now oh my goodness it's even better than when you freshly made it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on low which I have already done I'm gonna cover it back up and I'm just gonna let this puppy steam and when it's finished I will bring you back and I will show you what that finished product looks like a little bit of foil to help it to steam real nice okay. and then I just cover it and then I'll check it back again maybe in the next 10 minutes and we'll see where we're at okay we are back okay so my rice has been sweating and one thing I noticed with this rice, you have to really leave it cooked, low and slow. So I've had this rice cooking for about probably like 45 minutes. Okay. So this is what my rice looks like. I'm going to fork it. it let me tell you, it tastes really divine. It truly, when I say truly does, it really, really, really does. I'm very pleased with the 
you know, my recipe. I'm definitely pleased with it. However, though, I would say next time, I think I would prefer to use less liquid. Mm, look at that rice. Lord have mercy. Ooh la la. Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm going to fix myself up a little plate. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been craving this rice since oh, uh, since yesterday. So I'm gonna plate up some of that pumpkin rice. Cause your girl is hungry. Okay. So I'm just putting it down. Sweetie, look at that. That is let me that is gorgeous. That is truly, 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 truly gorgeous. And it tastes really good. All the flavors have been melted in. And I mean it, it tastes so good from all the seasonings. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix prepare myself a plate because like I said I am hungry and I made some oven fried chicken to go with this meal and some steamed carrots so I'm just gonna plate out my food right now because like I said I am Fully famished. And I'm gonna fix my plate. Gonna fix my plate. Here we go. So I have one more little thing to do. Okay, and I'm back. And this, oh Lord, let me find. <laughs> this is my plate. And there goes my pumpkin rice, my nice ripe fried plantain, my steamed carrots, my oven fried chicken with my Creole sauce. Listen, I am ready to dig in. I don't know about you, but I am hungry. Thank you for joining me on another video. And I pray that you have enjoyed this video. And if you do like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. And also, please feel free to subscribe. And I look forward to being with you on another cooking video or just another video in general. Have a blessed day.